If you want to install more powerful programs and games on your TI Inspire, the first thing you're going to need to do is install a jailbreak called Endless. Start by opening a browser and going to endless.me. And now you'll want to make sure to check that your calculator's operating system is supported. So to do this, look at your calculator and figure out the model name. Now the important part here is the main model of the calculator. So whether your calculator is a CAS or a non-CAS model doesn't really matter for this. Under that, you'll see the OS versions that Endless currently supports. So right now, for the TI Inspire CX2, that's 5.2, 5.3, and 6.2. So now you're going to want to check the OS version on your calculator. So to do this, select Settings, and then go down and select Status. And then right here, you should see your OS version number. So for me, mine is 6.2. And it would be a good idea to remember this number for later. Now if you just have a regular TI Inspire CX, you'll also want to check your Boot 1 version, which you can do by going down to this button that says About, and then looking right where it says as boot one version. Now I don't actually have this since I have a CX2, but here's a picture of what it looks like on the CX. Now if your calculator doesn't have one of these OS versions, it might be possible to update to a version that does support Endless unless your version is too new. But to do this, you'll want to make sure you get your OS from TIPlanet.org since if you get it straight from TI, it might update you to the latest version which could have patched Endless. I'll leave a link in the description to download the latest OS version for each calculator that supports Endless. Now that you've confirmed that your OS is supported, go ahead and click Download Endless. And this will take you to the download page on GitHub for the very latest version of Endless. So scroll down and find Endless and then the name of the release .zip under Assets. You don't need to worry about these two. This is the one that you want. Now open your file manager and go to Downloads and extract the zip file that you just downloaded. Perfect. Now you should see a whole bunch of different files here, but don't worry, these are just different versions of Endless. And we'll go over which one you need in just a second. So now you want to plug your calculator into your computer. And you can do this using the same cord that you would to charge it. And then go to inspireconnect.ti.com. Now this requires you to use the Chrome browser on Mac OS, Windows, or Chrome OS. So if you're not using Chrome, or for some reason this site isn't working for you, you can also use the Nlink app, which you can find at lights0123.com slash Nlink. You'll also need to use Nlink if you don't have a CX2 or if you're updating your Inspire's operating system, since the web app automatically updates you to the latest version, which means the endless might be patched. But for this video, I'm just going to use the web app because it's simpler. So now you want to click connect to your calculator, and then a menu should pop up and you can find your calculator right here. So select your calculator, then click connect. And now in just a little bit, you should see these options on the screen. So now you're going to want to click transfer file and then select to calculator from computer and now find the endless folder that you just downloaded a little bit ago. So what you're going to want to do is find the endless installer that matches matches the operating system version on your calculator. So for me, that's 6.2.0. So I'm going to select Endless Installer 4.5.5, 6.2.0. And then I'm also going to go ahead and select Endless Resources.tns and Endless.config.tns. And that should be all you need. Then click Open, and you should see that they're sending. Perfect. Now go back to your calculator and press Browse. And you're going to want to create a new folder to put all the Endless files in. So press Menu, and then New Folder. And you're going to want to name it Endless all lowercase. Once the folder is created, select each endless file and press Ctrl X to cut, then go into the new folder you created and press Ctrl V to paste the file. Once all the endless files are in the folder, press Enter to open the installer. Now depending on what calculator you have, the installer might look a bit different. Like I mentioned earlier, on the CX, you're going to want to remember that boot one version and select it in the installer right here. On the CX2, all you need to do is press a button to install it. On some older versions, you may not need to do anything at all, or you may be prompted to press Control w to close the document. Either way, just follow the instructions on the screen and you should be fine. Now there's a chance the installation might fail and your calculator will reset, but if that happens, you can just run the program again. If you're interested in making your own software for the TI Inspire, go check out the Endless SDK. And if you run into any issues or bugs while using Endless, you can provide feedback and get support in the Endless Discord server. And that's it. Thanks again for watching. And as always, this has been Tiny Hacker, and I'll see you in the next video.